Hi guys, it's Ed Barton, the Social Anxiety Coach again here. In today's video, I wanna talk about how you can stop letting life pass you by. But before we jump into the message of this video, I would really, really appreciate it if after watching it, you get value from it, you could smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, help me to help raise awareness about social anxiety and help more people like yourself who are struggling. So this idea of letting life pass you by, this was a big, big theme in my life. When you have social anxiety, you're basically handicapping yourself. And like Maxwell Maltz said in his book, psycho he said, having low self-esteem is like living life with the handbrake on. So because we live like this, we often develop later than other people. We underachieve. I know I did in all those areas of my life. And we see life passing us by. We see people that we know going through milestones in life, getting their first girlfriend, having sex, getting their first job, getting their first house, getting their first car, starting their family, all these things, and we're not doing them because we're basically, our progress is retarded by our inner struggles. So this really creates the sense that we're sitting on the sidelines and just seeing life pass us by. Right, great, so how do we deal with that? Well, one thing that I did was to develop something that I call the yes reflex. In the past, what I did is I would always just turn stuff down. Even if I didn't say it outwardly, in my head, as soon as an opportunity came up that involved any kind of contact with other people or socializing or stepping outside of my comfort zone, I would just go, nope, can't do that, internally. But outwardly, often I would say, oh yeah, yeah, that's great, yeah, sure, I'd love to do that. And I already knew exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna wait right to the last minute and then I would send a text message and say, oh, sorry, something's come up, I'm not able to attend or whatever. I remember a classic example was when I was in China, there was a, a very nice English girl that I had met with a group of people and of course I was completely drunk because that was the only way I could socialize and she invited me to her leaving party which was due to happen in a week or so and I said yeah of course I'd love to do that and the whole time I was just stressing and worrying thinking how am I going to do it you know how am I going to get out of this because I'm obviously not going to go and then you know as she followed up and said oh you still okay to come on Saturday I was like oh you know sorry something's come up even though I desperately wanted to go but I had this image in my head of just what it was gonna be like with all these people socializing, these wonderful, happy, beautiful people that were way better looking than me, way more socially fluent than me. And this is not how it ever is anyway, but in our mind's eye, we see these kind of supermodels having this incredible like Hollywood style scenario and just think, oh, I could definitely not do that. So anyway, as usual, I quit and canceled and missed out on a really nice opportunity. So the way I stopped this kind of thing happening and stopped missing out on more opportunities once I decided to really tackle my problems head on was I made an internal resolution that I was just gonna start saying yes to pretty much everything. And this is quite similar to a great movie which Jim Carrey was in called The Yes Man, where he ends up just saying yes to everything. If somebody invites him to go skydiving, he says yes. If somebody says, do you wanna to come to an after work Korean class? He says yes, he just say, he's not allowed to say no. He says yes to everything and ends up having all these amazing adventures. So I did exactly the same thing. I just started to say yes. I started to say yes to leaving dues. I started to say yes to drinks with colleagues after work. I started to say yes to salsa classes. I started to say yes to joining martial arts clubs. I started to say yes to hiking trips on the weekend. You name it, when an opportunity came up or a situation where someone asked me if I would do something, I just said yes. And there's no special trick for this really. You just have to implant that resolution in your head that I'm gonna catch the opportunities, I'm gonna seize the opportunities and not just you know, be in my car driving home and thinking, oh, I wish I could have had the nerve to say yes to that. That would have been a really nice thing to do. You just gotta be in the moment, grab it, say, yep, I'll do it, I'll do it. And before you know it, it starts becoming a reflex. And just as I had ingrained this no reflex of, yep, that's never gonna happen. I never even entertained the idea for any of this stuff. I just had already decided that kind of stuff is terrible any kind of group dinner, any kind of leaving party, any kind of after work drinks with colleagues, it's so cringe, it's not me, I can't do it, it's cheesy, it's that kind of thing that those kind of people do. I had already made this really narrow-minded decision way beforehand, before I even 
you know, looked at each case on its own merits. I just, this was just like a blanket statement that I carried in my head. So just as I had ingrained that negative habit, you can start to ingrain this habit. And it really is to do with the way neurons are firing in your brain. You start to burn different pathways in your brain. An opportunity arises, you feel the butterflies, you feel scared, think that's something I couldn't do. And rather than running away and saying no, you go right into it in the opposite direction. Say, yep, okay, I'll do it. Say you will do it, agree to it, and then figure it out afterwards. If someone says, "Are you, you know, can you please come to this leaving do on the weekend? You just say, yeah, and then just figure out if you have to buy a new shirt, if you, you know, need to prepare a gift or whatever, you will do that later. Don't stress about that first. Just say yes and figure out the other pieces later. So that's a very simple but very powerful technique that I wanted to share with you. Just start becoming a yes man in the right way. Not in the wrong way because that's another topic I want to cover in other videos. So many clients and for myself I was a yes man in a negative way but we're talking about becoming a yes man in the right way. So just to recap when opportunities come up don't follow your initial instinct to just bail out, say you'll go and then quit later and, and call it off at the last minute. Just say yes throw yourself into it and just go for it. There's no easy way to do it. It's like ripping off a band-aid. You just need to rip it off, feel the fear and do it anyway, as they say, and just go for it. Start burning this neural pathway in your brain to say yes to opportunities because it will open up many doors for you and you will start living a way more colorful and richer life than you will live by just turning stuff down and sitting at home on your own. I hope that was useful. Please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, share this video, comment below, and I'll see you all in the next video.